So Allen, a veteran, doesn't run every race nowadays, but is here more often than not, so he is one of our track regulars. He runs General Contractors for B Machine. In two starts this year, has two top five finishes, so he's been knocking on the door. First lap is complete, a 20.016, 20.016 for the 4B of Allen Brunt. Now, I will tell you, the track is pretty treacherous here today. A lot of rain in the area. There are a few leapers here and there, so it might not be a whole time. So finds a lot on lap number two, picks way up, 19.348 for Allen Bruns. Maybe on top of the board for him. Next driver out to qualify, made his debut in this class a couple of weeks ago. This is the running court number four for Michael Mark. Was in the EMOD division last year and now up to the James Grail Big Mods. A couple weeks ago, had some issues after qualifying, did not start the main events. Looking for his first main event start of the season. Michael Martin. He won a 20.417, so a pair of fours up on the board right now. Michael Mark in car number four, going to try to pick up on a lap number two. Alan Runs picked up the ton on lap two. He finds a nice pickup there, 19.998, and that is significantly better than the team's attempt a couple of weeks ago. So you like to see improvement with a new team, and they've done just that. Another veteran set to qualify. Number 33, Tap Florida Shane Held, our next driver to take time here. Shane has made just a couple of starts this season, knocking on the door of the top five in points, though. If he runs the rest of the year, should be at the banquet. He gets big sideways out of turn number four. First lap of 19.906. So that is the fastest first lap for Shane Held. Let's see if he can pick up even more here on the second lap. Shane Held, the veteran racer of both New Smyrna and Orlando Speed World. Sideways a faster, a 19.490. And that will slate him in the second position. So after three, it is Alan Brun, Shane Held, and Michael Mark, your top three. Next driver out to qualify. He'll get here eventually. That is the 66, the Gene Kelly roofing machine for Jerry Simons, who comes to, he comes to a stopover in turn number three. Not sure what that's all about. He's going to back up now. Now, he has not taken the green, so he can do this. Modified qualifiers. If you can please pull up to the front of pit road, please. We'd appreciate that. Modifieds left to qualify. Please pull up to the front of the pit area. So Simon's now under the green flag. And that car way up the track, so not handling well. At least off the get-go here. See if he looks a little better in three and four. He does. Now again, the track is treacherous. A lot of rain in the area. Wow, 19.861. That's a good first lap there, despite the troubles in one and two. And that's going to be his. Uh, that's going to be his tough area. Didn't get through one and two very well. Better on this end of the speedway. And that's what it was a couple weeks ago. Much better in three and four. 19.278, so it didn't look pretty in one and two, but he goes to the top of the board. 66, the hammer, Jerry Simons. Hammer in the field right now, top of the board over Allen Bruns, Shane Hill, and Michael Mark. Here's a driver to watch here tonight. The finish line, psych development. Veteran in multiple classes of the speedway. He sits third in the point standings this year. Another driver has, that uh, hasn't won all the races, but has been quick each and every time he's come out. Set fast time a couple of weeks ago. 19.689, fourth quick on lap number one. Everybody has picked up on lap number two. Simons was in the 19.2 second bracket. So gonna need to pick up a bit here for Ricky Moxley. And there we go, 
was top of the board, 19.016 for Ricky Moxley. And that's a great effort there as he gets on the binders as Wayne Parker heads on the racetrack. Insane Wayne, your modified point leader. Our next driver will qualify in the Jeremiah's Restaurant sponsored ride. And Matt Jarrett on the list. Doesn't look like he's going to go. Our final qualifier, not mandatory to qualify. If you don't qualify, you can start at the back of the field. So you might see one or two more cars in the back of the field tonight. Wayne Parker leads the point standings by 32 coming in tonight. Just looking to keep pace with Jerry Simons, who's in second. 19.859, that's fifth quick. I don't know if this will be good enough for the poll, but we'll see. To find about eight tenths here to make it happen. And that's asking a lot. Ricky Moxley sitting top of the score. If he stays there, he will. A 19.376 fourth quick for the point leader Wayne Parker. So he'll lose two points to the 66 of Jerry Simon. Still a 30 point lead going into the feature tonight. Of course, all of that unofficial. As qualifying for the modifieds wraps up, and we will. Clear the gates real quick, and then we'll qualify our sportsman division for their first twin 25. Twin 25s for the sportsman will qualify for race number one and have the invert. There will be an invert tonight after all the heats are complete for all classes to officially set the starting grids. And then the sportsman's second race will be inverted from their feature finish. So one round of qualifying in the book. Sportsman coming up next. Support Speedway Video. Go to patreon.com slash speedwayvideo now.